everyone, it's Lisa here. This is just a quick video to take you through Bear's little adventure mini scene creator that I created for my subscribers. I'm just going to walk you through um, what you can expect from the mini scene creator and just take you through some of the things you can do to edit and customize a scene for yourself. So once you've downloaded the set, you'll see three folders. You're obviously going to choose the folder that suits your software that you'll be using. In this case, I'm actually using Adobe Illustrator and I've already gone ahead and opened the file. So I'm just going to hop over to Illustrator. The first thing you want to do is make sure that your layers panel is up. If it's not up, you're just going to go over to Windows and choose Layers. And if you're not familiar with all the functionalities of your layers panel, you'll also find a handy guide that you can download from the subscriber area, the treasure trove. And from there, you'll actually see two PDFs for Photoshop and Illustrator that takes you through all the functionalities, well, the main functionalities of a layers panel. So if you're new to it, I do recommend just having a quick look at that. So when you have your document open, you'll notice it is kind of like on a default scene. Of course, this is a great starting point. You can use it as it is, or I just quickly want to show you all the things you can do with this little mini scene. So if you expand the main layers, you'll notice that they're either going to be the objects on those layers, or they're going to be sub layers within the actual main layers. If I look at the characters. So if we look at the clouds, we can basically just turn items on and off and feel free to move them around however you prefer and of course you want to also experiment if I just turn on the little village for example I just want you to also experiment and have a look at the items that you have available to you so I'm just going to quickly expand that fully and under the little village layer you'll see you have choices of turning trees on and off and of course little houses you can turn on and off and we can even turn the little characters um, off at this point if you just want to use the houses on their own which is also quite a nice little scene I'm just going to go ahead and turn those off because I want to take you through the characters quickly so if you wanted to change the color of his dungarees for example you would just expand the characters layer and then expand bear again and basically you want to search for the item that's named dungarees in this case and we're just simply going to use this target icon on the right hand side of the layers panel I'm just going to hit that because that automatically will now select just that dungaree which is what we want to change come over to your swatches panel and choose a new color in this case I'll just choose a bright green and if you want to do the same for uh, the flowers or the landscape, the same thing applies. I'm going to go and hit and show you how to do that. So I'm going to expand the landscape. And I want to change the color of this hill on the right hand side. So I'm just going to go ahead and select that. And I'm going to choose a different green and deselect that. I've just hopped over to Photoshop to show you how you can change the color of an item and in this case I actually want to change the color of his parcel so we need to go over to the characters layer expand that and then we need to expand bear and then we need to find the actual parcel layer which is over here and then just simply select it come down to your FX at the bottom of your layers panel and we need to choose color overlay it's going to use the previous color that you had uh, selected, which in this case was brown, like a brownish color, which I don't want. So I'm just going to select that actual color and the uh, color picker comes up. I think I'm going to choose a blue. Yeah, that's quite cute, actually. Uh, something like that. And then hit OK and OK again. And you'll see it automatically created an effect to the actual layer. If you don't want it anymore, you just simply turn that effect off and it will retain the old uh, you know, color that we had there previously. 
If you need a little help uh, understanding your layers panel, again, as I mentioned, you can find a PDF uh, downloadable in the treasure trove area for Photoshop. Otherwise, everything else is pretty much the same as I've shown you in Illustrator. Uh, the layers are in the same order and all the items are named the same. So basically, you can follow the same steps I showed you in Illustrator to customize your scene. The other thing I wanted to show you are the plants that you have available to you for the scene creator. I'm going to turn off these little grass specks and these little pink flowers. And then just turn on the grass to the left and right. And then you'll notice there's little uh, yellow flowers on top of the grass that you can turn off no problem. I'm going to do the same over there. And maybe you want the white flowers on instead. So there's quite a lot of possibilities and options for you to choose. And again, we can just uh, use this whole background, in, you know, in a quite a plain way, which is a great starting point for, say, an announcement. And you can add a frame, add your text to the middle of that. And that's a quick and easy uh, you know, design for something like a card and just move those clouds around. And as I mentioned, you can quickly add a little village and that changes the scene as well. And of course, add more houses if you like, more trees if you like. And don't forget to experiment with the little plants in the foreground because that's also quite fun. And of course, we are able to turn the little bear off if we just want the dog, for example. And little dog can also be moved around. If you'd like to add additional items to your scene from either the individual elements that I included in the set or from another pack that you've bought of mine or from a different artist, um, that's pretty easy. We're just going to hop over to the individual elements on my desktop and just expand that. And in this case, I want to use the houses and frames document. So I'm just going to double click and that's going to open up in Illustrator. And in this case, I want to use this little building over here. So I'm just going to select it and come over to Edit, Copy or Command C on your keyboard and then move over to my little scene. And at this point, you can decide if you want to paste it into the actual layer that you're working on or if you want to create a new layer. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer and just use this little Create New Layer icon in my Layers panel and just name that. I'm going to say new house just so I know what's going on. Make sure we on that actual layer and you know that because it's been highlighted in your layers panel. And then I'm going to come over to edit paste or command V on your keyboard and then just bring this little house into position and probably rotate it a little bit. And that's it. As I mentioned, you can do that with any other item that you've bought from me or from any other artist. And now I'm going to head over to Photoshop and show you how to do it there. So Photoshop is super easy as well. We're just simply going to drag and drop PNG files straight into the document. So make sure that you can actually see your uh, files on your desktop. And then I'm just going to expand the individual elements and houses. And then just choose one of the houses that I want to use. In this case, I'm going to actually use one of the tall houses. And then with my document open here in Photoshop, I'm just simply going to drag and drop. And you'll see it'll automatically um, bring in, you know, the transform handle. So all you have to do now is hold down your shift key, grab a corner and just drag it down into the size that you want. Probably want something like that. And you'll see Photoshop automatically created a new layer. And once you've dragged and dropped a whole bunch of things, you might want to go ahead and actually create a new group layer. So just that you can keep things neat and you know what's going on in your file. And that's it. It's as simple as that. Drag and drop in Photoshop. So I hope this gives you an idea of what you can do with a little uh, bear scene creator. And this is just a little peek into how I organize my other creators that I sell in my shop. You'll notice that all the files are um, well marked, all the layers are well marked and the objects are named. So it's just easy and a uh, case of turning items on and off. And if you want to change colors of the items, of course, you can just select each one, as I mentioned. 
And I hope this gives you an idea of the possibilities that you have for designing and how quickly and easy it is to actually create your own scene. I hope you found this useful and thanks for watching. Happy creating!